Hello, I'd like to take a few minutes today to show you how to create your own activities on Conjuguemos. Today, we'll be focusing on how to create a fill in the blank activity for your students. Uh, I'm gonna go about this as if I were creating a brand new fill in the blank activity. So once you have logged in to your Conjuguemos account, you're going to go over here to the add button um, choose add and then we're going to select add set when we add our set we need to choose the language that we're using in my case that would be spanish and then the type of set here we're going to choose grammar this is where you'll have the opportunity for a fill in the blank activity for your students i'm going to choose create new and then continue this will allow me to create a set from scratch. Okay, we're gonna add a name here. Um, mine is gonna be on the future tense, so we will do a futuro. And then any instructions that you have for your students uh, correctly, I can spell. Correctly <laughs> conjugate the verbs given in the future tense in Spanish. All right, and then I'm gonna select which class I'm going to put that in. That will be for my Spanish three students. And then go down here to the content. So it shows us that in order to create a fill in the blank activity, um, we would use this page and each word that we want to be replaced with a blank should be surrounded by the square brackets and it gives us an example of how to do that. So we can uh, make multiple words in there if we would like. So I like for a Dropbox um, option. So here you can number them if you would like it to show that format for your students, um, or you can do a paragraph format, whatever you would prefer. So I'm going to put in my brackets, let's see. Mañana, oops, bracket, but, um, tomare, um, pizza con mi familia para la cena. And then if you would like, you can put the verb out in parentheses behind. Um, then you can go on to a second one. Let's just do a couple here. Um, so this, about uh, Iran, a uh, Florida, este verano, o oh, el verano que viene, however you want to put it. I'll put ear in parentheses. All right, so let's just do that. Let's do continue. And then you choose the folder that you would like it to appear in. I have like 10,000 folders. Um, let's put in this one and then finish. Okay, so then when I go to my list um, for that particular folder, I have the option of El Futuro. It tells me that it's a grammar activity or fill in the blank because the little box, this bubble here is GR. So in order to complete that activity, I click on El Futuro. It gives me a graded option practice or graded practice. And then you type in the uh, correct answers. And let's do this one incorrectly just because. And then check answers. And it will give us our score, tell us um, how long it took to complete the activity, etc. So um, that is how you create a fill in the blank option for your students. I hope you found this uh, video helpful. If you have any questions or any other video suggestions regarding Conjuguemos uh, or Wiser um, or Edpuzzle, <laughs> uh, please let me know and I will be more than happy to uh, answer those questions and create that content for you. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.